be making basics. What's going on, YouTube? It's your man, Eva J. Music, owner of Beat Making Basics, and we're back again with another banging video. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you know when we're going to post. Also, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button if you like the video, all right? So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, what we got here is a three-part series that we've been doing, making the beat in 10 minutes or less. What we've been doing, we have three videos. The first video, we build the beat, basically get all the elements together for the beat. Second video, what we do is we arrange the beat. And in the third video, what we do is we mix the beat, okay? So we're in the third video of this series where we're doing a hip hop beat in 10 minutes or less in Logic Pro 10. Each section, again, 10 minutes or less, how we're trying to do this, okay? So um, let's go ahead and get the timer up here. We're gonna go ahead and mix this beat in 10 minutes or less, man. Let's get it, all right? Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to the hook and we're gonna just listen to the hook. Just get a good vibe of what, what's going on in the video, in the mix. And then from there, we'll, you know, we'll adjust the volumes. I already kind of adjust the volumes a lot of time when, or the levels when um, while I'm making the beat or while I'm arranging the beat. So that could kind of be a cheat code, but there's still other things we gotta do. So let's just jump into this. I'm just gonna give it get a play. That's hard, that's hard, that's hard. Let's uh let's get into this mix. First thing I usually do is come over here to the master stereo output bus and I throw like a limiter on it. Um I've been using isotope, but just for the people who don't use isotope, what you can do is you can go to dynamics additive limiter, click on stereo, go over here to the out ceiling, and we're gonna just drag it over to negative one dB. We're gonna turn on true peak detection. So turn that on and you can bring the gain up or down but I usually just leave that alone. All right, so now what you're gonna see when we push play is not gonna be peak anymore. Yep, negative one dB. All right, so that's the first thing we're gonna do. Second thing we'll do is we'll focus on uh, the drums. See what we can do to make those slap. All right, so I'm gonna probably just let the the sample play. We'll we'll put some EQ on the sample, and then we'll start mixing in the drums and everything like that. So let me just put some EQ on the sample, and then we're gonna um, get it rolling. You can use some fancy uh, EQs and everything like that. I do use different pl types of plugins, but you know, really, this EQ is just fine. Uh, what I do here is subtractive EQing on all of the uh, melody instruments so that it leaves room for the bass and some of the low ends on the kick and stuff like that. But let's listen to it. All right, so we don't want to take too, many, too much of the lows out to where it's too thin or we don't want to make it too muddy. So that's pretty good. Let's drink, bring in this kick. One of my favorite um, plugins from Waves is the Smack Attack. I use that on my drums consistently. Um, I just find that this really brings a good punch to the drums. There's other ways you can do a Smack Attack, usually through uh, parallel compression. Sometimes it, it makes the drums pop out too. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put that on there. All right, 
right, nice. Now we're gonna go over here to the clap. This uh, takes out some of the low ends on that. And I feel like the clap has already come, or clap snare, however you want to put it, is cutting through the mix pretty well. So I'm not going to boost the signal at all with the, with the uh, smack attack. Let's go with the hi-hats. Let's see what we can do there. Now one thing we can do here is just to make a little bit of movement. I can come over here to Cable Guys has this pretty it's actually a free plugin. It's called Pancake. You know, go to you know search cable guy plugin and you can get it but uh on, on Google. But we'll just go ahead and do this and I'm gonna see what I can do here. I put this on a four bar loop. There we go. So, make this one go over some. So this is a, this is a little panning um, just to make things interesting a little bit here. I can still go into the track and actually pan it. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to work on the bass. Um, I'm really not going to do too much to it. It already has a lot going on, so I'm just going to kind of leave it dry, but I'm going to make sure the levels are good. saucy distortion to it made it come through a little bit better in the mix all right so we're going to work on these horns um, it already has an EQ naturally on it so I'm just going to really just take this and probably cut some of the lows out of it So there, we had a um, stock um, reverb on here. Not that the stock reverbs are bad, but I'm going to go ahead and add um, through the sins. So I'll go to the sin, go to bus, select the open bus. I'm going to add a different reverb. I've been using this Valhalla room reverb. Shout out to Superstar O. That's how I figured out or heard about this Valhalla room. Um, 
he mentioned it, you know what I'm saying, in one of his posts or videos. Um, but anyway, we got the Valhalla Room reverb. It's pretty dope. Let's listen to how it sounds. right there it's all good nice nah, I like it um, last thing I'm gonna do here is go to the end here and we're gonna push a for the automation tool and this is what I've been doing on all of my beats lately is just having it fade out on the last four bars or whatever Alright, cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to it on the big speakers, just kind of turn it up to some notch just to make sure that everything is hitting right. Y'all are not gonna be able to you know see it or hear it that well, but that's what I'm gonna do in just a second. right y'all that pretty much does it i mean you know obviously 10 minutes is you know it's a very short time to to get some things done but at the same time you know what i mean i find that sometimes your first gut instinct is always the right one and so like i feel like these good these 10 minute exercises are valid and and good things that you could do to really get your 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 mojo going you know what i mean Overall, there's pretty much not a whole lot that needs to be done to the mix or the beat. And uh, let me know in the comments what y'all think, man. I will see y'all in the next one. And later on, I will post a link to where you can stream and check out the finished beat online. So appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you in the next series.